today we're going to talk about how to prepare your garlic for planting in the fall. So you take a nice healthy looking um, garlic bulb, you want to get off all of the outer skin. And then carefully separate the cloves. The goal is to keep the skin on the cloves. So very different than cooking. When you cook, you're trying to smash that skin off so that you can, or peel the skin off so that you can cook with it. There, that's a big, beautiful bowl. This is a, a mu you know, music garlic, hard necked, lovely. And I'm, I'm really trying to sort of, I, I crack basically from the top of the bulb um, because the cloves, there we go, they're more likely not to um, open up. And these guys all look solid, these look great. So I can plant each of these in the ground. I just wanted to show you a sample of some, one that I won't be planting. So this is from a different garlic bulb that I, I separated, but the skin opened up. I don't wanna put this in the ground because it probably would, would rot before it starts to grow in the spring. So we'll put this in the kitchen for use in the next couple weeks. cloves have, um, they have a nice, solid, strong peel all the way around them, so and they're already separated and ready to go. I've got a little container of fresh compost. I've got my sign, and I've got my, my straw mulch behind me. So, here we go. I'm going to dig a hole about six inches deep or so. Maybe even eight, really, because what I'm going to do next, and this isn't, this is not a necessary step, but I really do feel like it gives the garlic a leg up, a good, healthy scoop of compost. And then when you plant your garlic cloves, there's two sides. There's the root side, and then the shoot side. And you want to make sure that your root side is down, a lot like any flower bulb. And I'm gonna place that about four inches deep in the soil. Cover it back up. And then the next clove is gonna be about five inches away from that. And you just plant, plant, plant. And then when you're finished, what you wanna do is mulch. With a really several inches of straw, um, this is uh, salt marsh hay, um, anything like that, and then you want to leave this. This stays in place all the way through the end of June, beginning of July when you harvest. Time to harvest garlic scapes. This is a Siberian garlic, which it produces really great big bulbs and cloves. And here is the flower stalk. If you pick off the scape, then what that does is it allows the rest of the plant to put the energy back into the bulb for a much larger garlic bulb at the end. So this morning, I am harvesting some soft neck garlic. It is ready. It's telling me it's ready because it's kind of flopping over. And if I look at the leaves sort of that are dead at the bottom, we've got uh, one, two. Okay, this one only shows two, but <laughs> you can see that half of them, or maybe a third of them are yellow, but the main thing is that these guys are flopping over. Um, I look at the hard neck garlic behind it, I don't think that's quite ready. Maybe a few more days. Um, it's still really, really green in comparison to these guys. Um, and I know my soft neck uh, matures faster than the hard neck. Okay, so this uh, soft neck garlic has been under this um, salt marsh hay mulch since last November. So I just give it a nice little tug 
and uh, kind of discovered that the, the salt marsh hay kind of helps to wipe off a bit of the dirt. Well, that's a kind of a small bowl, but that's okay. And we're gonna put it over here in one of my daisy trays and line them up and dry them in the garage for three weeks.